Hey guys, Dean here. I am going to show you today exercises that I can do while I'm on the road, either with equipment or without equipment. Uh, you don't have to have equipment in the beginning when we start this off. If you don't, don't worry. We're gonna give you lots of exercises you can do without, and we'll give you lots of exercises you can do with equipment. Let's get on that. Okay, let's start off with exercise we can do without equipment. While I'm in the truck, while I'm on the road, you know, always I'm always gonna tell you if you find a gym that's best, I can't do it, I can't find a gym, I'm at a place, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do push-ups. Push-ups are basic, nice and easy. We can work the inner pack, the outer pack, the upper, lower, depending on where I'm gonna put my hands. We're going to do a push-up on the floor, make sure that you keep really good core contraction, keep the body nice and straight. You can do the push-up eccentric where I take my time coming down. Don't feel bad if you can't do one. We can do a knee push-up. So it's just dropping to my knees. Incline push-ups or elevated push-ups. So if I can't do a, a regular push-up, I can't do a knee push-up. You know, it's my first time getting into this. We can do elevated push-ups to higher the angle that I'm at. The easier the push-up is going to be, the lower I go down, obviously all the way down to the floor, the harder the push-up will become. And if you want to add that extra little zing to it, you know, we can put our feet up on top of something and do like an incline push up where I'm hitting the more of the upper chest. It's a little bit harder movement. Moving down to the lower half of the body, we can do two of my favorites, which would be either air squats or lunges, either a stationary or a walking lunge. Make sure that when you're doing it again, slow and control, speed kills, just like in the truck. Same thing in the gym, same thing with workouts. Speed kills, slow it down a little bit. Make sure you give it a little bit of time under tension. Make sure you get a full range of motion. When we're doing our squat, we're getting nice and deep into that squat. And watch what we do with our knees. Don't let those knees push out over top of the toes. Try to keep them in line with the toes, which is gonna cause more stability for our, for our knee and cause less pain, because we don't want pain when we're working out. We can work upper body like a, a bicep curl. If we have something like a moose bumper on one of these trucks, that's gonna help with a bicep curl or a tricep extension, which I will show you in depth and explain on how we can do it. If you can find something around that you can do pull-ups, pull-ups are probably one of the best exercises, works our, our lats and our back. And if you can't do a pull-up, if you can't find uh, something to do it with, we're gonna show you some different things with some tools that we can do. The pull-up can be done either with the grip, my hands grip forward, which is gonna work more on my lats, or I can turn my hands inside, which is gonna work more on my biceps and uh, still gonna work some of the lats and, and our different areas of the back. Even standing up on our tippy toes uh, works our calves. And when I'm driving, uh, one of my favorite things is contracting my, my core here. So when I, when I squeeze hard on the abdomen, I'm actually training the abdomen so I can do that the whole time that I'm driving and always remember posture, please, good posture. So these are just a few exercises that we can do without equipment. Some of my faves, uh, the stuff that I like to do. You know, there's a ton of stuff out there. You can research it, you can look online and stuff like that. Uh, if you see something that I didn't, then you down in the comments, always down in the comments. I like to read that stuff. Let me show you some of my favorite tools that I have when I'm out on the road, stuff that I can do with equipment fairly cheap. It's not expensive to get into it. Come on over here, let me show you what we got. One is this super slinky little lightweight. It doesn't look like much, but it is death. This thing can cause a lot of pain, uh, good pain, not the bad stuff. You can work your upper body, lower body. You know, it's really good for uh, us flat betters and stuff that have to throw chains and straps and stuff like that. Working our, our rotator cuff, a lot of injuries caused in that rotator cuff wrist as well you know we're rolling up straps and stuff like that so we can work our wrist extensors and flexors really good extremely cheap you can pick these up for usually about 10 bucks something around there most fitness stores will carry them i think probably walmart and canadian tires and stuff like that probably have them another great and probably one of the best things you can find is this gizmo here this is the trx spelt just like that trx Pretty basic, it has a carabiner that we hook it onto different things. We have the straps and handles, and we have our adjustment, which is this little guy here. And you basically pull him back sideways. If I wanna shrink these guys down, I pull it that way. If I wanna make them longer, I pull it that way. This guy, we can work 
anything. We can work our cardiovascular, we can work upper body, lower body. Probably one of the, the greatest little suspension trainers that you can get. Where can I get these? Well, let me tell you, Dino, this guy right here, he has actually six of them for sale. When my gym closed, I still have some of the equipment left over. So if you need one, comments below, hit me up. I'll give you my number. We'll shoot you a price on these guys and uh, see if we can hook you up. I'm sure we can find a way to ship it out to you or get it to where you need. They're nice and light, so it won't cost much. Anyways, another tool is dumbbells. Satellite dumbbells. You can pick these up usually for around a dollar a pound, maybe upwards now because of COVID and stuff, the price went up a little bit, but we'll probably be up into that, maybe a dollar 25, dollar 50 a pound, something like that. If you're paying more than that, keep looking around, you'll find stuff out there. The GG, Facebook Marketplace, stuff like that. They're all around. These ones are just a light set. They're 10 pound dumbbell. I don't have to carry around 70s and 80 pound dumbbells with me. You know, that stuff you're gonna go find yourself a gym. But with a set of dumbbells like this, I can work again. I can work my upper body. I can work my lower body. I can work my, my wrist extensors. I can do stuff for my rotator cuff. Obviously, the heavier I go on any X with, with dumbbells is going to be more tension it's going to cause on any of the muscles that we're doing. But basically, these guys, just a set of, you know, 8s, 10s, 15s, probably maximum is all you're going to need. And uh, you can work in the entire body with it, which I will show you the different exercises we go along because I want each and every single one of you guys out there ripped up. All right. Last but not least is one of my hand trainers. You know, basically you squeeze it in. It's working our wrist extensors and flexors again. Give us that nice grip. So when we shake somebody's hand, they go, ow, my you know, it's, <laughs> it's a great tool though. All right. So these are just a couple of my basic things that I like to do when I'm out on the road. I am a certified personal trainer. These are very brief rundown on what we do. If you guys want to see more content, like uh, where we're explaining contractions and how to do these exercises properly, going a little more in depth, leave the comments below. Tell me what you want to see, and we will get something out to you guys with uh, some great content. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I uh, hope that you guys learned something. Please, you know, like and love and comment and definitely subscribe. Tell all your friends to subscribe and we will see you guys again next time.